Hello, everybody. <coughs> Welcome. <coughs> Today, we will be talking about the potential of the art in order to sort and solve the uh, global problems. Well, need to talk much about the global problems. We're all aware of them. Uh, we They're all obvious and we know how to solve these problems as well. For instance, about the climate uh, uh, change. Uh, the third phase has been recently published and it's more than 10,000 pages and it's only one of our problems. Sustainable Development Goals, as you will know, uh, is focusing on 17 major problems and global climate change is one of only one of them. We have so many uh, interwinkled problems and 10,000 pages of a uh, booklet, let's say, focusing only on only one of them. So we've been focusing on these problems for a while. And uh, again, we've been focusing on art in the uh, corridors of the high schools and universities. And we know that and we're aware that we can come up with solutions to these problems uh, that we uh, are living in this global world uh, by focusing on art. Therefore, we decided to come up with a project. We were planning to come up with a project. And finally, as of today, we will be able to uh, focus on the second phase of this third uh, th of this three tier project where we're going to be focusing on multiple uh, participation of discussions and i'd like to welcome you all well i am most probably going to be confused about uh, what camera which camera i will have to look at while speaking <clears throat> the focus of today is going to be uh, how to translate uh, art uh, related solutions into the solution of the uh, problems that we uh, come across globally. Now, well, we already said that the problems are all in the table. And now I'd like to ask this question to Mr. Faik. Do you really agree that we're in a terrible, terrible situation or do you think that we can come up with an action? Well, thank you very much for this great event and for inviting us <clears throat> under the title of Co-Act, Co-Art. It is among one of the very complex uh, topics and to focus on this topic, which is going to be one of our uh, important topics, uh, which brings art and the solution of those problems together. Therefore, I would like to thank you. IPCC report has been one of the most important topics of recent uh, times last week, and it was a great introduction. It is, in fact, uh, showing us a very important process that we all have to be focusing on for more than 250 years years with the systemic problems we've been dragging with ourselves uh, we have a culture and we have an existential approach the way we exist the way we want ourselves to be exist i think is in fact uh, is mainly touched upon with this report in thousands of pages let me talk about this very important cargo this load the report is bringing it's about natural gas the coal the industry that has already the industrial revolution and how we've been uh, culturally uh, part of it and how we have built up all the systems. And the uh, wonder of the uh, Industrial Revolution was about the economy. And together with the technological advancement, advancements, this has been even further accelerated. And through this advancement, we have to say that the, um, the Malthusian theory became actual and the, number, the population has uh, rapidly increased. And by the end of this year, we're going to uh, reach almost to 8 billion people globally. And uh, in every 10 years, in, a, uh, in every decade, let's say, there is an increase of 1 billion people. Uh, and I have to say that looking at Turkey, it's slightly different, but globally, looking at the um, goods produced and consumed, it is uh, possible to say that uh, there are economic privileges, but there are some lots of people who are deprived of these privileges. And everybody has reached a level where they can all access to these goods. And in terms of health and education and livelihoods, we have seen a big uh, development and we have increased our standards. We have increased the average. And now this is the bright side of the 
picture. But on the dark side, well, of course, we have to uh, also be aware that these are all done the expense of the nature. It's mainly because of the expense of the physical world. The economic policies uh, were dependent on an intensive use of the sources and biodiversity has collapsed. We have focused on uh, everything from the perspective of only me, uh, and we have lost almost 70 percent of the uh, biodiversity uh, in the recent 70 years. Therefore, uh, it is possible to say that uh, in this is going to happen for the six times in history that this is going to be a disaster. For the first time, we will be the first species and therefore we're making a great reference to Anthropocene theory with this event. And from this perspective, uh, now the oceans uh, is getting acidized and the air and the water sources have been all polluted and all the arable uh, fields have been degraded. So we all say that there is a very clear situation for human beings that we have cut all the natural sources down, which gives us life. So at the end of the day, we're all uh, coming to an uh, end. Now, the economy is usually mainly uh, based on the growth and this is a system which requires all of us to focus on uh, from different perspectives because the societies are reflecting themselves based on the conception and therefore we, these economic uh, approaches that are encouraging consumption as much as we see are not going to be uh, the uh, sustainable things for the future <clears throat> these became very popular in the recent times but these are not going to be popular First of January 2016 is a very important date. A sustainable goal, sustainable development goals were put into action as of that date, focusing on the climate change and sustainability. On one side, there is the planet crisis. On the other side, there was the human crisis. And it was mainly about uh, the diminishing of the inequalities and to prevent putting pressure on the natural resources of the planet and to come up with a change in transformation. In any crisis globally, the common uh, features of the occupations uh, that are already uh, ignored uh, any, in any occasion of crisis are usually about art. And the wealthy people are always increasing their wealth during the crisis, but the others are getting poorer. And of course, the art is indicating our values is usually ignored or disrupted. Now, while we're talking about art and when we talk about other things, uh, the way we perceive it and our uh, skill is also very much intermingled with each other. So to see art from different perspectives, to understand it from the eyes of another person, or <clears throat> to explore ourselves from a different perspective is very important. Well, that's where we're going to come exactly, Faik Bay. We're going to ask how you're going to take uh, art's power behind you. Well, last year in 2021, uh, IKSV has made a report, has made a research uh, about the roles of the arts uh, players. And according to this report, <clears throat> A large part of the Turkish society are aware of these problems, according to this report. However, Hande Hanım will give us a better understanding, most probably. But this report says that, yes, we're aware of it, but uh, we're still lagging behind and we have to pave ground in terms of making a change in behavior. Uh, this was the main importance of that report. But on what basis this was written? Let's hear it from you. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here with you in this event. And co-act, co-art is in fact a striking, is bringing these two striking concepts together because uh, taking action together is in the heart of this 
approach this process because we're in a very heavy, serious uh, crisis. As you said, we are all aware of this. I mean, uh, IPCC report uh, thousands of pages is not something new, but still the major problem here is how we're going to come out of this crisis and what kind of a, a transformation we need to get out of it. And again, uh, we also have to question uh, the existence of ourselves, the way we exist, the way we try to make ourselves exist. And of course, the other crises like poverty, for decades, we've been talking about this crisis, but I have to say that we haven't reached to a transformation yet. And it, in fact, uh, quite despite the fact that uh, we, uh, we are aware of it, it becomes even more serious day by day. And this requires a kind of a change, or maybe it requires a kind of a political uh, change as well. So we started to focus on this for a while. And again, here maybe we have to talk about how culture and art can play a crucial role in this regard. Uh, about the arts uh, transformational uh, aspect, we have started working together with ECASEVE and for many years um, uh, working on ecology related matters. But culture and art has been a new topic for me. It, uh, of course, uh, it encouraged me to think about many things based on this report. And afterwards, uh, starting from this report and afterwards uh, with the readings and the discussions we made based on that report, we came together. For instance, we also have a podcast series of a podcast uh, uh, in order to figure out what kind of a difference would culture and art would provide or offer. There are some basic questions in this report. It requires a holistic uh, transformation. Meaning, this topic is usually taken uh, in, into uh, account from only one perspective, but we're talking about a holistic transformation here. Therefore, from this perspective, we have to be aware how this ecologic transformation will take place. And green transformation is in fact something very important. And local and global policies, and due to these policies, uh, even though there is a dream of having green policies in the world, we still have certain uh, questions to ask. Therefore, we have to be aware of where we have reached to and we have to know about how to read this concept of sustainability. And again, this is a concept which provides us a slippery field and we have to think about the uh, uh, frontiers of the uh, planet, of course. And most importantly, we have to know about the ecologic crisis and why it is a cultural uh, topic. In this respect, we have connected with many NGOs, arts uh, societies from the UK as well as the Netherlands. And we have conducted almost 20 interviews with them and then with the uh, stakeholders in Turkey, together with the cooperation uh, uh, we held with British Council and the other stakeholders and with uh, IMM, Istanbul Municipality. Yeah, okay. We are going to uh, tell us about these experience, hopefully, uh, by showing the uh, photographs as well. We will hope to see, uh, we will hope to hear those experiences as well. Well, I realized that we have immediately started without introducing the speakers. And uh, 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 Melis Jin is among us from Lancaster University. Well, in fact, uh, she is also going to give us some striking points at this point. The first tour, let's say, we're talking about this roughly and we're talking about our perception about this topic roughly. And then we're going to go deeper because there are many inspirational examples to be shared here and we all know about this. Now, Melis, I'm aware that you have a field experience and you have 
build up peace in the uh, controversial groups uh, based on art. And this is very uh, impressive for me because digital, this isn't only uh, uh, limited with digital, but it has a very strong uh, side of it. It's about the changing story and it is about the narrators and it is about the uh, experience of the people who have rewritten the uh, story right from the beginning. Can you please talk about it? Thank you very much, uh, dear Özdem and Okan, for bringing us all together and for uh, opening this topic to discussion. Well, as you said, I'm mainly focusing on gender issues and uh, the art and how art can be used for global and social problems. And uh, I am working in, I have worked uh, together with many NGOs uh, in several projects that have been funded by uh, the, the British government. And I would like to talk about the experience we gathered in this regard. As you said, the cultural heritage of art is in fact something is something we use together with local actors. And among them, I'm going to talk about this in the second tour, but let me tell you about this first, why we're using it. Uh, and well, I'm sure there will be some people who will know about this. Well, it is about international literature and it's about cultural and it's about photograph art, photography art, and many other performance related and visual arts are a part of it. And again, when we talk about the participatory uh, art, it is uh, something like bottom-up uh, participation. It is an artistic uh, community that is designed all together. And as so uh, those who have a uh, power in the society and those who are excluded are collaborated, encouraged to collaborate. And this power equilibrium, this power balance is providing a better democratic, uh, democratic stage. And while doing so, we're increasing the critical uh, aspect. So the political and the social problems are offered in this regard. And again, a social movement is uh, in, into action. And at this point, we see the art and the social sciences, how they can contribute into the social development and uh, the culture and art. Because the participatory art, inclusive art, has an objective of having peaceful societies. And to create a platform uh, for this purpose. And as mentioned by Faik, uh, it is in fact something around many of the development goals. And for up until today, the researcher, <clears throat> as a researcher who is working on peace building, I have to say that deep poverty, or when I work with the displaced societies, uh, uh, I have uh, accumulated a great knowledge and experience, and I'm going to talk about how what we can do based on the examples. But there is something that I would like to mention. The final purpose here is, of course, to go into those excluded groups and to uh, make them get open to the discussions about the cultural and historical approach uh, and artistic approaches. And again, uh, we would like them to offer a cultural narrative. And at the bottom of this, well, of course, we would like to open up the society basics into discussion. Here again, the poverty and uh, the gender inequality or climate uh, issues are the major topics in the world. And these are the, uh, in SDGs, uh, these are the part of the SDG related problems. Therefore, uh, in these projects, we're on a local basis focusing on these SDGs uh, through the help of art. Therefore, the cultural uh, heritage of art is helping the societies to discuss and to bring solution to the problems they come across. And while doing so, it is a base movement and it is in fact an artivism a process that we call artivism. In the second run, I'm going to give you some examples based on this. 
and I'm going to show you some of my slides. So this was just the introduction. Well, there is a very important concept in your recent book uh, about sustainability. While we're thinking about sustainability, well, of course, we are trying to increase awareness in the society and awareness is in fact very high in the society, all right? 73% of the society think that the climate change is a major problem than the pandemics. So there is obviously a, an awareness, but you don't use this concept of awareness. You use critical consciousness as a, a concept in your book. So maybe before we go to the second round, would you please tell us uh, what this critical consciousness is? Uh, because I think that it is uh, like something like awareness to zero. Would you like to tell us about this? Would you please talk about what this critical consciousness is? Well, those who study uh, social movement will know about this critical uh, consciousness concept, especially in the uh, writings of Pablo Plate, you will know about this. This is a very common concept for him. Now here, the critical consciousness, when we talk about this, we mean that we have an idea, an opinion about so many topics, about the global problems we come across. But the critical consciousness means is something that uh, uh, pushes us to take an action. So it, when you reach to the critical consciousness, it requires you to uh, take a step and to take action to prevent, uh, for instance, the climate change. So, well, of course, this is a something, this is a topic which has been always discussed. So uh, uh, there is a very important role about this. As I said, uh, there is a kind of an organization, a basement movement and collectively, uh, has a purpose of creating a movement. This is what critical consciousness is focusing on. Well, these topics were always very important. And one of our uh, uh, seeking is about art. And we always believe that uh, in terms of the anthropocentric uh, theory, as Fike Bay said, in this uh, big disappear uh, disappearance, maybe art has to be taken uh, into account from a different perspective. Maybe it has uh, the art has to be linked with the cultural heritage, but now it re deserves to be well. Be, it deserves to be well thought again. When we go into deeper readings, we have realized that because we come across, we face with very hard topics, and this new generation is is going to has to remain in these new uh, circle in this environment without losing their motivation and i think art has a kind of a power to exercise this and i believe that art will play a facilitator mode role here so we had such discussions with the artists so we never thought that art would play such a role maybe the societies you're working with or maybe five way the ones you're working with and again, Hande, in your examples, anthropocent uh, art, I believe there will be some hints about it as a facilitator. Do you think that this aestheticized uh, aspect of art has such a meaning? Do you think that it has a, such an offering? Now, if you allow me, I would like to take the floor. Well, critical consciousness, as you have uh, opened up the discussion, the cultures, the norms, the uh, behaviors, and the motivations of uh, behind those uh, actions. What has to be given the priority? Where do we have to transfer our resources to? Are the most important thing. And how are we going to share our resources? Instead of taking norms as a solid, and non-changeable uh, concepts, we have to have an opposite perspective here. Technology can provide us some solutions for certain problems, but for our existentialist problems, it's not the technology, the tools that are available, including technology, especially recycling, 
is in fact a very important concept among these tools. But I have to say that we have some problems right from the beginning. Therefore, if we're not focusing on how we generate the waste, how we produce the waste, then there will be something missing. We definitely have to focus on how we uh, produce these waste first. And the critical consciousness will therefore play a very important role in this respect. And art is the crucial there. This is what I believe so. Well, as far as I can say, this is what we exactly see in the field, the cultural and artistic actors. Well, in terms of uh, intervening the ecological crisis, they're trying to take an action. But while they're, so, they're doing so, uh, they're, of course, bringing many new practice also. These are all very uh, important uh, practices. For instance, an alternative, a new map comes out by art or artists. And while they're putting it in the front, people, it helps people to have a more realistic bond with art because this bond is based on the problems they're already living in their daily lives. And then it has a new meaning for them. For instance, when we, uh, the, for instance, art uh, gives uh, a highlight to the inclusive artistic approaches. So this is very important. Everybody will be joining from different perspective with their own information, with the problems, with the problems they come across with and the solutions for them. It is not going to be a, only a scientific knowledge, but some ancient knowledge, wisdom can also be a part of it. And again, in this regard, the green narration is also very important. I mean, without this, it's not going to be possible to do something. To uh, establish these links is very important. And I, uh, we have noticed that networking is the new and the most strong, the strongest uh, practice, for instance. And it is about the sustainability of that community, yes. But on the bottom of it, we have to know that there is a joint understanding and to approach this from this perspective is also very important to have a uh, point of view from the justice is also very important so that you're going to be able to uh, overcome the injustice uh, all around. And in terms of creating counter narratives, it's a p part of this process. And you see how the injustice is intermingled with each other. So these new practices are also playing a very crucial role in this respect. And again, while making arts or while talking about the ecology matter, there are such uh, practices. So there are very good examples of practices. We have seen great examples from the report. And I guess we can start with sh uh, 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 sharing some of these experiences. Now, this, as mentioned by Melissa and Hande, right at the right at the mo uh, at that time, in Gökçeada and in Chukrova projects, if I'm not mistaken, this was the basic factor. Am I right to say so? Yes, in place shape. It, these are the projects in situ uh, shaped by the society, and uh, you already have some. Uh, practices you will share here. And again, how would you evaluate this from the perspective of art? And then we're going to talk about Melis and Handi's uh, examples. Yes, 
to create different perspectives and to set the best examples is what, something very important. To speak about them on a conceptual basis is important, but you have to come up with the best practices how, in order to translate them into real life. Otherwise, they're not going to be uh, applicable. As you said, in Gökçe Ada, we have a laboratory. Uh, there we see art is playing a very important role in terms of reflecting the demands of the society, locals. And this project is known as the open air Gökçada. A field there is going to be sh is shaped by the people living there, depending on their needs. And in this regard, with the architecture and the handcrafts, the local community has designed this place with their own uh, skills. And of course, this is also very important. The game areas have been uh, designed for the kids. With different materials, some modular uh, seating areas have been also organized. Now, well, after you build up the basics of the design, you have to be knowledgeable about the area. So those areas where we use art directly, by the help of the very famous people globally and collaboration with many athletes, are all very valuable to us. And in Turkey, we're aware that there is a big uh, uh, focus on this topic and a transformation uh, starting to uh, take place. And at this point, we're all aware of it. So far, we have reached to certain places. Uh, and again, uh, we're encouraging many people to take part in this. It looks like we have a problem with the connection. Can you hear me? We have heard a large part of it, but there are some uh, parts that I missed. But we have already seen that you have taken the power of them uh, behind you and you are also designing the areas, especially for them. OK, I heard them. Now, at this point, let's give floor to uh, Melistan. Uh, now, bottom up and collaborative uh, production. Let's hear the examples of Melis now. Can you hear me at the moment? Yes, we can. Well, I'm going to show you a slide. Now I'm going to talk about two basic projects. Uh, it's about the asylum seekers and the local society. Uh, and this is uh, the building training. It's about decolonizing peace education in Africa. And again, uh, and I'm one of the uh, facilitators of this project. And this is also uh, Arts, uh, is supported by Arts and Humanities Research Council. And here uh, we need a lot of time in order to discuss the output. But again, if I can talk about my experience, I would like to highlight three points. And while doing so, I'd like to talk about not only about the artistic approach, but I'd like to talk about the local production as well. Because while we're talking about art, we're not only talking about a limited production, we talk about the relationships and the political process, the cl critical consciousness. And again, uh, because here you also have to get in touch with those people within this process. For instance, the first thing is about the public, public area and the democratization process. Here again, 
uh, it is very uh, much linked with the uh, SDGs about sustainable society, justice and budget, and also uh, partnership for uh, the uh, goals. So there are uh, so these are all very closely related with the five SDGs. So that's very important to be a part of this process because you know that, as mentioned by Hande, without taking different information into account, uh, you without being in relation to the uh, communities that have been uh, already uh, treated un, uh, without justice, uh, you just cannot come up with this process. Therefore, democratization plays a very important role here. So that bottom-up uh, inclusiveness and where the participants are designing the agenda is a very important, especially uh, coexistence and uh, symbiosis or so uh, economy and political approaches are all very important. So I believe these are all very, to give you an example, for a, a prominent project outside of my project. For instance, in Bosnia, uh, after the war, uh, different groups in order to bring together, in order to have a social connection between, uh, is something that was valuable, a process was followed in order to come up with this cultural heritage. And again, and again, there have been so, so many discussions about these things. Uh, and again, uh, what's important here is uh, what we can do in this artistic uh, processes. Well, maybe you see this on the slide. Uh, and I have to say that uh, this is uh, about the tribes uh, that have been all uh, have been uh, subjected to different types of treatments for many years, and they have their own cultural heritage. And again, again the NGOs and with those uh, local artists there during the last five years we have been uh, convening together and we're opening so many topics into discussion and here again uh, the plan was to come up with a gravity workshop graffiti workshop excuse me a uh, graffiti workshop is an artistic work therefore it also plays a very important role in the batonga community in terms of voicing the young people and hearing them because they are all subject to discrimination and there is a high amount of uh, poverty like in some other parts of the world. And again, uh, these p uh, communities have very limited uh, job uh, opportunities. So we decided to come up with a street art approach. And at this point, in order to exhibit this, can we see the next slide, please? Well, now, again, This photograph, this is about being more visible. Uh, well, I have some issues about hearing the speaker at the moment. Maybe it's because of her connection. Well, it is very important for them to put their cultural heritage in the front. And here again, of course, they have to highlight their own time and they have to uh, uh, talk about their own culture. And when we started with this workshop, there was such a demand about the cultural and ecologic uh, and about the cultural and artistic heritage to be shared globally.
and again uh, this is a place in between uganda and zambia if uh, somewhere close to the border and here you see uh, it is very important for zambia And it is very important for them economically and for culture, and it's a part of their ecologic life as well. Uh, there is a problem with the connection, so I just cannot hear the speaker uh, properly. There is an echo. And this fishing uh, project here is going to be supported by large scale companies. And it is very important, it touches a very important uh, highlight here. Well, there are so many questions about what you do, about artivism, and uh, about what you have done. Well, this is one of the graffitis they have created. And of course, they have some cultural heritage about this. I mean, it's not the, uh, of course, graffiti. They have some artistic things. For instance, this is food craft, and this is uh, coming from this tribe. And this is something that produced by the tribes here. And of course, based on this, they have some economic activities. But the topic coming from the young people was about capitalism and those economic concerns and that big market was dominating and was so influential on their lives that especially the uh, opinion leaders of the tribe do not want them to be engaged in those kinds of activities like woodwork because they don't think that they are sustainable and they want the young people to go to the universities and to have some occupations and professions but on the other side the young people would like to have a desire and the willingness to own the ecological and the cultural heritage and this was also very important for us and based on this we have created almost 15 graffitis and then we have exhibited them and i'm going to talk about it later on but there is something that i would like to mention here well the inclusion of the participants and to uh, decide what they can do and what they can highlight by using highlight uh, art and a collaborative non-hierarchic real realism seeking approach was important to them the use of art uh, was also very important in terms of shaping the messages but on top of this there was a, a a collaborative approach and this is in fact something about artivism and about this uh, about the unemployment a, a creative ecology uh, plan came up from them and here, of course, we have done so many other activities. And then the final ones, we are coming with creative economy, how we can create the creative economy and how these creative economies uh, can be a part, can manage to be not, not to be a part of this capital, uh, capitalist capital. And again, the second slide, let me talk about the second slide. Now let's talk about Uganda in another geography. Let me talk about this uh, project, how art how uh, I'd like to talk about a different point here. Now here, to speak about not spoken is important. Uh, and again, so many things that cannot be spoken can also be uh, voiced through the help of art. And uh, this can also be voiced with the collaborations through the creation of art. And in this respect, this requires a uh, conscious, uh, critical consciousness. And in order to do so, uh, the participants may be transferred into political subjects while they're sharing their opinion and reflection of themselves. 
and is becoming a, a, the expression as a uh, mediator. And again, exhibitions, uh, the, uh, the spectators coming to the exhibition space and the NGOs uh, have an interaction. So this is also very important as a case for what a case for water for instance this is a refugee camp this is a project for photography here they are trying to they wanted to photograph themselves in the situations where they come across with most frequently during their daily lives here you see after training the young people who is running this uh, workshop this is bottom up for instance this in this project for instance the photography artist is someone who is displaced so is a, is himself is a refugee as well so so it's about uh, the communities coming together and again uh, there are some uh, uh, NGOs here and again the, uh, the we came together with the NGOs in uh, this region and again well of course uh, it is never possible to do or run such a project without their approval. You just cannot go there and do such a, a project without the uh, help of those NGOs. And again, and again, uh, those who are running this locality have also. Uh, well, I guess we have to talk about this. Uh, and again, uh, there is something that I would like to highlight here after this uh, photograph being take, taken, uh, these little kids here, as you will see, are coming to a lake in order to collect water, but and this lake is very dangerous for these little kids and there have been some cases of drowning there already and one thing that has to be highlighted here is there is a water problem we have a water problem and we can only get water through this way and whenever the kids uh, are uh, younger sisters and brothers go there there is a security problem and we just wanted to take a photograph of this and we wanted to of course uh, we put this into a closed exhibition space and the camp leaders and the ngos there after discussing this and after uh, have seen something and again uh, there are some uh, and i have to say that uh, the water problem was not yet solved and these wire barbs uh, not uh, being used beforehand uh, but to add them here could also be a part of a small solution to this problem so well of course to have this wire bar of course is uh, well of course there are certain cases but there is of course a deterring uh, factor here and again taking action is always have a power always have a power and if it starts from one part it also triggers something on the other side as well and we have 10 minutes to go uh, uh we have many warnings coming yes i have four or five more slides too but i'd like to give floor to the other speakers as well i have so many things to say now of course uh, this is in fact uh, just giving you a taste of what we have done well of course we have Maybe I can just talk about these uh, things later on when I take the floor for the last time. Okay. Well, these examples are great. It's not possible to be impressed. And again, uh, maybe we can talk about some other geographies as well. Uh, based on this report, let's talk about those examples from Hande Hanum as well. Here from Hande Hanum as well. Well, I'm very limited in terms of time. 
So, well, I don't know whether whether you have a program afterwards as well, but we can continue with you for another time as well. Uh, well, this is an international exhibition in Netherlands. Well, I'd like to talk about You see a program here. Here you have the chance uh, and those uh, visitors uh, in the park can see the artists there. Uh, here it is not uh, only something about the arts, but it's also something about the current situation. Uh, based on the global problems and they can discuss these global problems with the artists and again uh, and there are certain programs designed in this topic uh, here again uh, they can just feel and experience nature by touching it uh, in person and again here among those alternatives when we talk about the nature and uh, human beings uh, relationship it's also possible to talk about this relationship as well because in this era of entrepreneurial theory that broken uh, that is to be fixed uh, is this relationship and again right from the beginning of the industrial revolution it is about the dominance on the nature so it, uh, everybody sees nature like something to be uh, managed and something human beings have to be dominating but this is something that has to be changed and among those norms we have this approach as well and many artists uh, and again uh, uh, therefore uh, they're trying to uh, therefore they're trying to come up with these practices as well uh, and again, they're trying to come up with uh, these different uh, approaches. And again, uh, uh, for instance, a specific kind of a design was to be made in this park and the politicians or maybe the decision makings uh, And again, here uh, there is, uh, uh, and uh, it is possible uh, to do some other uh, jobs as well. And again, uh, I was going to talk about some examples from the UK. Uh, again, in Turkey, it is possible to come up with great examples from Turkey and we see such kind of an intersection as well uh, it is again uh, the need for the transformation and we feel the need here on the local basis as well and we have seen many uh, uh, other festivities and ecological transformation and again these are taking ecology into the focus these are the examples from Turkey again uh, we made a mapping here uh, again, this is a mapping for Turkey. Uh, well, this was a question coming from the audience, whether you could give some examples from Turkey as well. This mapping, uh, this map can be seen in this report as well. And again, uh, it is not possible to say that it also covers the whole example. And it's a, a work in progress. Uh, again, uh, there are so many additions taking place. The most interesting thing here is these uh, different uh, institutions, how they can work around different types of themes on an intersectional basis. So in the other uh, map, uh, uh, again, you're going to see this. And again, uh, this is a networking and how these networkings are important is obviously seen and uh, this requires learning from each other and to act together to co-learn to co-act are can also be seen uh, from this perspective and again uh, there would be another example from turkey and again 
uh, in uh, muse museum gasane this has been exhibited again uh, as you will know with the local uh, initiative there in the recent times it is a space that has been uh, added to the cultural map of istanbul and again many things are going on there so many exhibitions discussions and uh, meetings taking place there and this exhibition took place there and again since 2013 and it is in fact something based on a walking route and on this route the ecological crisis and their reflections in istanbul uh, can be seen based on this route. You can see different kinds of furnaces, the Istanbul, uh, Canal Istanbul route, the third uh, bridge, the new airport, the waste uh, areas and fields. So you can see these uh, routes while walking down there, seeing all those uh, uh, disruptions on the ecology when you walk down on this road. So this is the plan. Again, and again, you can easily see uh, see the uh, different types of approaches. And you can see the traces of the ecological crisis, and you can also feel the social aspects of it. And by discussing these, the, the participant uh, can come up with a translational and a transformative uh, artistic experience. So these are all very good examples. Uh, and it is very important to open growth to discussion. And I have to say that uh, uh, again, and it is a very hege hege hegemonic uh, idea, a very uh, difficult topic and it has been uh, pre-accepted by uh, the uh, people and in terms of the ecological crisis to stop this without questioning is not possible uh, and again we see uh, such uh, examples coming out and again in speaking about the turkey's uh, uh, situation to bring people together, to have a coexistence, to co-work, to uh, co-discuss. It is very important to come up with these approaches. Well, well, I think it's also something about the way we work. I think it's something about the cultural habits as well. Most probably these are going to start to change as well. At the beginning, uh, we had a very negative situation, but uh, there is a question coming from the young people. Now, while well, coming towards 2030, what or how do we have to think uh, about the way we're going? Is it so bad, really? So, do we have to start uh, asking this question directly to the to Fike Bay? Well, hope hope is the most important thing, and we have to create hope. And again, if we do not hope, we do not have hope, then there is nothing we can do about it, and we can only uh, create hope by holding each other uh, and we have to believe that there's possibility to create a different type of a future and therefore uh, like the questioning uh, person we're going to hold each other and we're going to try to reach to the solution now if we're now going back to the beginning if we're talking about this negative picture we have discussed right at the beginning now i'd like to say something about this report 2021 uh, was a topic was a year where we talked Talk, we discussed about this topic so much because of the pandemics, you know, the climate summit was not possibly done and it took place by the end of 2021. From the perspective of the activist uh, circles, I have to say that uh, it was far beyond uh, meeting the expectations of the activists, but there was still a progress. For instance, regarding coal, for the first time, coal took place in a document and the activist uh, uh, 
public activists their skill of uh, making best use of art while waking up the people about the uh, problems in the world and in terms of coming up with the demands of the society. And I think the creative tools play a very important role in this respect. And I think this is this was something that also happened in Turkey as well. For instance, one thing that we have conducted with Mert Frat this year, for instance, is going to be the fifth anniversary of the 1972 Stockholm Summit. And this was a very important summit. Uh, 1972 in the, is a very important year in the history of sustainable development. And uh, human is going to start uh, making a, a this uh, is going to focus on the recent, the last 50 years. And there is another one. The, uh, the world leaders campaign will begin again and it was something that has uh, also given light to the uh, discussions all around the world and uh, again uh, in turkey with the european delegation we made a, a campaign this is climate and we're going to change and again it was a big campaign we conducted on a personal level uh, it was uh, the question that we were trying to ask what my connection is with this world and again as you will know in turkey based on uh, paris uh, 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 summit. Well, of course, we do not have, uh, we just cannot connect any result with any political process, but of course, they all play a very important role in terms of lighting up the fire, in terms of creating that demand. The activist circle, the sports, the arts play a crucial role, and the opinion leaders' efforts are uh, playing a very important role because they have, to, they have a different perspective. And again, uh, I also have to say that one of the major campaigns of last year was about uh, where we heard our story from the mouth of a dinosaur, uh, as you know, don't choose uh, disappearance. And there was dinosaur Frankie there. And he said that you are financing uh, this uh, disappearance of human being uh, by your own pocket uh, because of the fossil fuels. And it was uh, also a great campaign voiced over by uh, uh, Sergen. And you have seen it in the airport, you have seen it in the metro stations. So with the use of multiple media, it gave different perspectives to people. And again, uh, it spoke in different uh, languages. In it, it was uh, also uh, voiced over by different uh, Artists. Again, we uh, work together with Sartop Erener. So, why Sartop Erener was the question. There is a critical question. Why Sartop Erener, someone says. I don't know the age of the person who is asking this question, but uh, it, maybe it's because known, uh, very well known by my uh, generation. Of course, we have to work with different age groups as well. So we try to give different messages with different uh, celebrities. Shai Kajman, for instance, is another one that we worked for volleyball players. So. Uh, for instance, uh, those who are not our ambassador or uh, our uh, supporters, but very new names are also a part of this team. So why set up is a question. Is set up because we have some others as well. I talked about Shaika and I also talked about this uh, diving uh, There is a problem with the connection. Am I disconnected or are you disconnected? You're back. So you were talking about Shaika. Again, it's a tool that we have used for Olya Sharoldo. He also uh, has been a sp uh, part of this team. So we're also able to reach the kids as well to different groups and to different age groups. And we're trying to reach them by use of different age uh, different celebrities and we're using art fest together for instance is a music festival we make use of them and migration photography contest and uh, the uh, violence against women was a, another topic which we held campaigns so every year we also uh, 
support sustainable life uh, film festival, for instance, the documentary is there. So we're trying to support them through different channels and through different works, we're trying to come up with them. Uh, but we're open to suggestions, especially those who are watching us. If you have any suggestions about uh, the celebrities, you can always come up with them. We will be happy to hear them. Okay, thank you very much. Five is usually very accessible, but when I have to say something to these uh, uh, students here, I have to mention this. Uh, and again, Faigbe, I would like to say something. Uh, Shaika's uh, photography is uh, again in the exhibition area in this uh, building. And thank you very much for that. Well, Faigbe has given us some hope, but we still, uh, I don't know whether we will have to finish the tour here with Melis and Hande. Maybe you have some hope to give for the young people, at least. It looks like there's hope when there's art. Well, let me uh, finish if there is hope or not, but under what conditions and what we can do in order to strengthen this hope. Well, in the field, with the art, with the cultural heritage, those who are working with these topics, there is something that I would like to highlight. And again, all of these uh, COP26 or the, the other uh, comprehensive meetings or conventions, let's say, have to be more connected with the local uh, communities. And in order, we have to understand what's going on in the local basis because we sometimes see big uh, changes. I'd like to give you an example. Uh, the project that I'm uh, talking uh, is taking place in Cameroon, for instance. And it's one of those projects that I'm a co-investigator. In Chad, for instance, there is a lake, Niger, Nigeria, Chad and Cameroon are uh, uh, are using uh, this lake on a common basis and chat uh, lake and and we heard if maybe we haven't heard anything about this at the moment this chat lake is very important and people start to hear this and start to come here and then they come across with many other problems like Boko Haram and the global crisis and global change is in fact is bringing some uh, justice uh, disparities as well and again you think you're just focusing on climate change but it comes up it turns out to be a kind of another topic like poverty or cop something different not to be able to do enough amount of agricultural production and then to f come across with different types of uh, terrorist uh, organizations are the things that have an impact and effect on them. And again, uh, these are the things that these uh, communities that are trying to voice themselves, they would like to be heard about it. And again, uh, uh, 2.5 million people And again, again, uh, these people have to come together and have to be uh, uh, together in order to come up with a, a Uh, and again, uh, we have to make best use of the uh, experiences of these people. And what was there until so far? And how did you live through? Uh, and again, uh, what stories can we hear from this? And that uh, local language is so valuable that uh, this is something that we have to be understanding this. And again, uh, here, especially when we talk about the multiple 
multiple uh, information, the importance of the multiple information is very important. But again, at this uh, geography, we definitely have to uh, know about this uh, very carefully. Yes, Sandy Hanım. Well, obviously, it, based on our conversations here, we heard so many things about hope. And again, what has be what can be discussed? Again, I can honestly say that there is hope, but there is a kind of a reality as well. Uh, we have so many obstacles, and without losing hope, these young people have to come over these obstacles, and they have to be aware of this. And the hope is about action, so we have to take action immediately. And again. Uh, each and every locality has their own uh, challenges. So we have to have a look at this from our own perspective. And again, uh, we definitely have to start focusing on the civil area uh, at a larger perspective. And in order not to uh, lose hope, we may sometimes exert a lot of efforts, but we, we have to be strong. Again, uh, we have to come up with action and we have to multiply action taking action and again without ignoring the challenges we have to bear these in mind and again uh, a young person uh, striking going on a strike started a motion an action and this is now disseminating all around the world therefore uh, we have to know about what we can do by reading a lot. Yes, great. Yes, so hope is in action. Okay, this is something what we all put the project based on, how art is going to trigger. And uh, hopefully the university is going to uh, be very disciplined and the uh, youngsters who are uh, very disciplined will come up with art and we're going to be always in connection. And we hope to see you there as well. And we're going to share these uh, dates with you. Now, I think we have reached to the point of closing this. We talked about artivism and we talked about many other things. And we talked about the uh, power of the art. We spoke to about Africa, to Europe and Turkey. And then the, we say that uh, the uh, hope is in the art triggered uh, action. Uh, I think we can just close it now with the high energy of hope. Thank you very much, Okan Bey. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And of course, artistic uh, production is, is in fact, is help is a, an action also. Thank you very much for joining. This was a valuable. So we will see you again. Thank you very much.